Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is the Grand Stream. This is the GWN 7711P switch. So it's an eight port switch. This particular line has two switches, one that has PoE, one that doesn't, but they're both manage switches. They call them light layer two switches. So this, this is the PoE version. So I've got four ports of PoE. On the back, I have a, a reset button, a power button. I've got my Kensington lock, and I've got a grounding lug over there. On the bottom, it already has feet installed, or you can go ahead and you can mount it right on a wall. So I've actually been waiting for a switch like this uh, because I've had to, with the new office layout, I've had to unplug uh, my phone while I was you know, trying to figure out what I was going to do for a switch, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this hooked up and we're going to take a look at it. So uh, in the box, you get paperwork. Uh, Grandstream always sends a copy of the GPL. Of course, you get the switch. And you get, let's see, what else? There's a power adapter in the bag. And that's it. So there's no uh, there's no actual grounding wire with this one, which I uh, I'm always used to them sending that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video, and I'm going to go ahead and hook this new switch up. We're going to grab the IP and we're going to log in. Let me see if on the bottom ah there is there's a default password. So Grandstream follows the uh, the letter of the law on this, and every device has a unique password. None of them just use admin admin anymore so I have a heck of a time seeing so I'm gonna take a picture of this if I can get my phone to focus so that we can get logged into the switches and we can see what's going on and now I can have my phone and my camera uh, plugged in at the same time because obviously you can see I need some work with my camera so let me pause this and we'll be right back all right real quick before we log into the switch we're gonna take a look at the data sheet so, uh, and also the switch that I pulled out was the um, unmanaged GWN7701, which is just an eight port switch that actually runs on five volts. So it can actually use the same uh, power adapter as one of the phones. So these switches have eight gigabit ports, smart power control to support dynamic PoE or PoE plus. So it's PoE plus or PoE, but not PoE plus plus. It's got loop detection, cable testing, port mirroring, blinky LEDs, which is always good. It's fanless. Um, it can be managed through the web UI or through GDMS or GWN Manager. And it has built-in QoS. So you can see that the 7, uh, 7711P supports quite a, you know, quite a bit more, um, obviously, um, devices because it has PoE. So, but they both have, you know, the same amount of VLANs that are available, the same amount of MAC addresses that the MAC address table can hold. So, one of them is, is plastic, which would be the GWN7711. And you can see that it is, it's also got that 5-volt five uh, connector on it. So, let's, uh, let's log into the switch. And now, I have to look at the picture that I took. in here right look at this change your password gladly all right we're going to go ahead and complete this and we'll click save just in case up here we've got uh, admin, we can change our password, change our language, we can reboot. Looks like it only supports two languages out of the gate here. But you can see total PoE uh, that we have for the four ports is 60 watts. And I got 57.26 watts left because I did plug my desk phone in. And what a relief that is. All right, let's take a look at our port info. So if you remember the other green stream switches that we looked at, all of these screens should look very familiar. So this one's drawing 2.9 watts. 
can see the port info here. So this is my phone, this is my ump link, this is my computer, everything is gigabit. Right now I've got it just set for DHCP. So we come into our switching, our port settings, we can come in here. Uh, we've got jumbo frames and oh, look at that, all the way up to 15,000 15, on that. That's, that's pretty cool. And let's see what happens when we edit a switch port. So we can put a description, we can disable the port, auto speed, auto duplex, all that good stuff. Here we can create our lag, our link aggregation group. We can do MAC address searching. Here's our VLANs. So we can do port based VLANs or we can do standard VLANs here. And then here's our PVID settings. So we'll get into that. We've got that big stack of switches back there that we're going to be dealing with too. IGMP snooping. So this can do uh, multicast. That's fantastic. And uh, that's awesome. QoS settings. For a little 8-port switch, we'll have to look and see what the MSRP is on this. Here's our power supply info. So we can edit each of these ports too, and we can change the... PoE, and that's another thing that you should know about this switch is not only can it do AF, AT, but it can do passive 24 volt PoE because Grandstream has uh, some other devices coming out that are going to be passive PoE. I can't wait to get my hands on those. Here's our monitoring. We got port statistics. We can look at our port mirroring. We can do a uh, cable test. We got loop back detection. And then here under maintenance, we've got upgrade. So we could check for updates, which should go out and check the Grandstream site. Um, oh, that's right. They changed that so that you can't automatically just do that. We got backup and restore, and we got our ping test. So just a really nice little switch that can do passive PoE and it can do uh, AF and AT, PoE and PoE plus. So let's take a look and see if we can find the MSRP on this. Hold on just a second. All right, so uh, NTS Direct is actually a reseller, but if you have an account with them, you can pick this thing up for $65. That's a pretty dang good price. And you can see here, uh, they reiterate four times PoE, PoE plus, or 24 volt passive PoE output. So I'm, I'm excited now. I've got a managed switch at the desk. Don't have to move things around anymore. That's fantastic. So if you've got any questions about this switch, let me know. We're going to keep running it uh, probably in 30 days or so. I'll come back um, and let you know if I've had any problems or anything like that. I'm going to start doing that with all the products. If I run into issues, we're going to come back. We're going to talk about it. But uh, it's a pretty simple switch, so I don't see how I could have too many issues unless it just up, up and quits working, right? So if uh, you're going to check this out or if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links. Uh, I don't have one for this. And our Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, Head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. And come on over to community.willyhow.com, sign up, join our community. we got a great group of people over there, and we're continuing to grow it. So come on over, ask your questions, lend your expertise. All are welcome. So that's it for this video. If you've got any questions, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I'm Willie, and I'll see you in the next video.